Alright, let's get back into this. What was it again? Opens beautiful gardening tour. Of course, of course. Jumping straight in. This does seem like a very straightforward and chill odyssey. Which I'm not complaining about. Like, don't get me wrong. It is nice to have a challenge every now and then. But it's also nice just to get a bunch of free trophies and, and not have to worry about challenging things. Sometimes challenging things are best... Uh, spread out. That's the best way to put it. Oh, does it? Okay, it doesn't move at the start of the round. <sighs> yep. It's really not any particularly great spots that I want to put a druid in. I guess here. Okay, here's the plan. Start off with the druid there. Hopefully it'll clean up enough of round three and four to get us money to afford open. Hopefully by that point in time I can put open somewhere here. Or maybe I'll have to sell some things for that, I don't know. But the overall goal will be to try and get my lives back that I've lost right here. Because <laughs> I saw it coming. I knew it was going to happen. Um, let's put you there. I think just for now, so that cleanup's easier, because it's going to take a while to get open with these terrible placements, but that's fine. That's fine. We will try and save up for Spirit of the Forest and just get our lives back. Very simple, very straightforward. I don't think there's any other way we can do it with any of the other towers. Oh, Heli Pilot. Drops lives as well. Never mind. We'll just go for that. And then potentially get... Ooh, excuse me, I'm burpy. Sp <laughs> Potentially get Spirit of the Forest as well. Okay. This is decent. This is decent. One more round. One more round. I want him here. I really do. I don't know why. I just do. Cool. Oh, yeah. I forgot that it's a pain to actually fit heroes in this spot for some reason. But that'll be as good as we'll get. Cool. Love it. Now we just have the ultimate flaw of not being able to pop leads very well and definitely not being able to pop camos very well. So, you know, everything's mostly okay. But, uh, yeah. For some reason I didn't get called into work. Like, I went to work yesterday, made the mistake of telling one of my mates that I wasn't coming in today because for some reason they hadn't rostered me on. And then he was like, oh, no, don't worry, I'll, I'll ask them and they'll they'll get ch ch changed and you'll come in and help because so-and-so called in sick, so that'd be great. And I was just like, yeah, all right, call me in if you want. And then I just never got a message or a notification and my schedule hasn't changed, so I'm not there. Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward, really. But, yeah, it was strange. I was really expecting to be called in, but I just wasn't. Here we go. Now we've unlocked the cheat code of just getting a heli. So now we pretty much win, right? That's how covered gardens work, right? The second you get a heli pilot, you just win. Pretty sure that's how this works. Oh. But yeah, so my day's been pretty relaxing so far. I mean, been playing some Hearthstone, some Rebel Ink bit of Hogwarts Legacy on the side as well. Uh, even ordered a pizza recently. That was pretty nice. Saved it. Okay. We're good. Um, so this can pop almost anything. And then this guy can pop leads. And then this guy's gonna be my spirit of the forest right at the back. When he eventually gets his upgrades. Uh, but yeah, it's been a pretty chill day for me so far. Although, I've seen something weird is going to be happening to me on Monday. Because I've only done ever one split shift, right? I don't know if I've complained about it before, but I've done a split shift before and it was on a Saturday and I was a part of the evening shift, which started at one o'clock and ended at like seven or eight, something like that. So when I left work, it was pitch black, which was kind of scary. Um... 
But anyway, I've only ever done one split shift before. And it seems like on Monday I'll be doing another. But it confuses me. Because... <laughs> I don't know if it's a split shift for Monday fully for everyone else. Because for me, I'm rostered on for the morning shift. Which is like, I don't know... Either 8 or 9 till like... 1 or something. But then I'm also rostered on for the evening shift, which is from 1 to like 8 again. So, I'm not sure what's that about. If they're just trying to say I'm staying on the whole day, I don't see why they couldn't have just said, hey, you know, from 8 till 8. <laughs> Unless that, that makes them look bad or something, but yeah, I don't know. Seems weird, but apparently I'm going to be very busy Monday, unless it's a mistake on their part. So that'll be intriguing. I think I want to work on my druid soon. Because let's face it, I'm not going to be getting this port chinook anytime soon, despite my best efforts of wanting it really badly. Oh, that's a lot more lives than I thought. That's fine, that's fine. You know why? Incentive. Incentive to get this... <laughs> Goddamn spirit of the forest. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Wait, was this the double HP Mars map? No, no. <laughs> Terrible time to ask that question. It's like, hey, am I about to get screwed over here? <laughs> but no, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Only camera detection being this guy, though. Don't know how I feel about that gonna want something else with that. I mean, I guess I've got Oven's little bramble things, but is that enough? I guess if these aren't uh, regrow balloons, it's fine. Which they're not, so I guess it's not too bad. It's still a little scary, though. Come on, support Chinook. I'm not exactly being uh, relaxed about getting this guy. I am absolutely rushing it, and there's no real reason to do so, other than the fact that I want to get my life back. Ooh, please live. Oh. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just gotta live life dangerously. There's plenty of smart ways of playing this map and beating it with these towers. There's also plenty of stupid ways. I like to choose the stupid ones, just to mix things up a little. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Can we beat all the pinks? Ooh, can we get our ability to get our lives before we lose them all? <gasps> nice. How many lives was that? What, ten? I need more than that. Okay, but apparently it was enough to keep me alive uh, for now. Let's get Jungle's Bounty very helpful. Uh, might also need a tower that can see camo. Aside from the obvious. Oh god, that probably means death for me, doesn't it? Wait, do, do purples actually regrow farm? Oh god, they do. Hmm. Yup. So stupid. Right. Can we add a little helping hand right at the front here? Is that possible? Is that viable? Is that even gonna help? That's the real question. Will it benefit? I think if we can get Sharp Shuriken then maybe, but my every every part of my body is telling me to get Seeking instead. But that's just wrong, isn't it? It's just wrong. Seeking won't help. Well, it will, but not as much as Sharp Shuriken will. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and everything was fine. Aside from, you know, the light. The, the, the nine lives. Yeah, that could, that could be better. But still, everything's fine. It's 
really is one of the stupidest ways I've started off a match. Okay, Bloon Jitsu. There we go. Camo detection. Not solved, but certainly helped. Certainly helped. Okay, okay. Now what? <laughs> ah, this is so dumb. Okay, but we good, we good, we good. Right. I can collect this through the glass, right? They don't sting me out of that, do they? Cool. I want to do this, and I want to do this. No, get the... Did I save it? Ah, I don't want to risk it. I'm being stupid enough as it is, I don't need a loss on top of it. Okay. This is what I want. Little, little house for my friend there. And suddenly, life is easy! <laughs> oh, good old druids. Oh, money. Oh, abilities. Just press them all. Wait, does that mean I can... Airlift them out and put them somewhere else? But obviously that somewhere else would have to be the open pane. Is that what I'm getting from this? So if I airdrop you... Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Well, no, I'm not going to do that, but still. So you can... So even though the helicopter is underneath the glass, very obviously, I might add, hence why it's able to fly under and you can see it through the panes and getting cut off by the... the, uh... the structure holding the panes in place, even though it's very clearly under the glass, it can't navigate the monkeys to be also under the glass when it picks them up. Because reasons. Interesting. That's the one flaw this map has that I've seen. Or the, the one sort of uh, continuity error. The helicopter. Sorry, I'm, I might have been saying plane this whole time. If the helicopter can fly underneath the glass, there's no reason that it can't pick up and drop monkeys off underneath the glass as well. Because that is entirely where it exists. Okay, we good. We are so good. Uh, I am going to need this tower soon, though. Oh, actually, no, it does give, like, a crap load of lives, doesn't it? So I only need it for, like, a couple of rounds, really. That'll be fine. And for now, I can sustain off of that. Ten lives ain't bad. We can live off of ten lives. Although, to be fair, our uh, quality of life isn't great. <laughs> I feel like if someone else was using this strategy and I was just watching, I'd be like, no fucking way that works. No way in hell. I really hope it does work though, because I don't really have much else. <gasps> I've just realized how broken that is. Oh, I have just figured out the system. Okay, that's a little awkward for moving the position of that, but... Can I do that? And then pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. There, you didn't pick up any of those, did you? Hmm. Okay. Okay. That sucks. Okay. But here's the best part. And here is a potential loophole that I've found. Right. I don't know how much you sell for, but it's probably pathetic. You give us four grand roughly. Very, very roughly. Um. Hmm. You give us 13 grand. That'll do. There it. So here's the strategy. Wait, 13 grand. Will that do exactly? How much do you cost? 37,000. Oh, that'll easily cover the costs. Right. Start it. Grab you. Oh, we can't grab them if they're under the glass. Never mind. Oh, that is weak sauce. Okay, I might just be fucked then. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. How to make this work? Because my theory was, if it's under the glass, it can grab things from under the glass. It oh. Apparently that works too. Never mind. Uh, theories be damned. This shit works. Okay, but for some reason our Moab damage is collapsing. Not that we had much to begin with, but still. I'm a little offended that we are doing so poorly. Right. Now that we've moved the glass, is anything better? I guess that's the good part, is that if you restart around, you get the glass in the previous position, and then it moves to the new one. So if you want to mess around with anything over here, you can. Uh... I do really want a Spirit of the Forest, though. So I think I'm just gonna do a bit of a 180 here and try and get this guy to be Spirit of the Forest. That might be a little bit of a backstab to the guy that's been dealing with all their camo balloons this entire time, but you know what? It's fine. Spirit of the Forest gets camo detection on its own, so deal with it. Uh, but for now, let's just see if it can pop Moabs. It actually just depends on the panel timing. If this... If the panel is open up here when we can afford it, then great, I'll get that one. If it's down here, great, get this guy. Simple stuff. Okay. Seems to be working well. Ah, oh, beautiful. Maybe it was a mistake to put all of that money into this one druid. Hmm. I wonder. Actually, no, it wasn't. Because we've got this. Okay, so we should be fine. Right? Should be. Should be. Can you tell that I'm questioning on and or doubting myself? Some people might not have picked up on it, that's why I asked. Uh, fortified. Yep. Those are a thing. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. That's alright, we should restart the round anyway. So. Wait, what? No, it happens. It happens at the end of the round. Right, yeah, sorry. Completely forgot that was very much wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Man, it really sucks when you lose without one of these druids being shown. Because I could easily get myself a lovely spirit of the forest right now. Hey, that too. Really wish you could cheese it. Anyway. We will have this guy here, I think. It's kind of hard to say. You know what? Yeah, we'll we'll have this guy, who will exist. And now, technically, he's the best druid out of all of them. But here's my plan, and it's not a very good one. I warn you. Potentially just gonna sell this guy at some point in time. That's fine. That was that's good that that's for the second fortify. It's gonna need it. Come on, guys, kill it. No. Okay. Cool. Cool. That was probably a shit idea anyway. That's that's why I like it. What am I actually doing here? I just want my lives back, man. Why am I actually struggling? Well, I'm not. I just don't want to think. <laughs> I don't want to do the thinky part. I don't want brain think hard work. Does this upgrade the crates as well? I imagine it doesn't. Ninja Elk. Don't know why I think 
This will solve all my problems, but it's done it in the past. Why wouldn't it work now? Why wouldn't it work now? Indeed. We got there. We got there. We got there, everyone. Boom. Money being made. Nice, nice. A little bit more needed. Absorb that. Nice. Don't know what we'll do about this last layer. Hopefully the druids can sort something out between them all. But, uh... How are we looking? Oh my god, they sorted it out between them all. Oh, shit. I mean, I knew it would work. Just, uh... Just didn't know it would be that effective. Okay, okay. There's definitely some... Some damage there. There's not a whole lot of damage there. Hmm. Yeah. God damn it, what am I doing? Oh, why didn't I just go top half heli and just, just leave it? I really could have, should have, probably would have. But now I've got to dick around with this shit. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You can just do the thing. Just do the thing where you magically win somehow. Of course, of course. How, how could I forget about that? That's strategy. The magically winning strategy. Uh, let's place another heli. Just to help out a little more, you know? Always good to help out a fellow heli. Wow, that is surprisingly much better DPS. That's not gonna... That's not gonna fly. Oh, as much as I want it to. Why don't we get a heli with an out buff before the start of the round, huh? Huh? Yeah, didn't think of that one. Okay. Drop that. We actually almost have our money back with the... Uh... Our, our lives back, sorry, with just the, the heli pilots alone. Right, if we do this, this, and this, I'm pretty sure we can do that. Nice. That's all I wanted. Oh, that's not all I wanted. I'm still not going to get all my lives back. Damn. Why am I so dumb? Oh, wait, no, I might. It gives a lot of lives, doesn't it? Do I make it just in time? Please tell me I do. Oh, it doesn't give me the end of round... Hold on. No, no, no. Wait. You guys see that in the bottom left? There's an ability there. That was... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay, good. Oh! <laughs> oh, we're good, everyone. I thought that ability was ready to go and would have absolutely given me all the rest of the lives that I needed, but no. No, no, no. There was a very tiny sliver of red. Anyway, like I was saying, this is a very chill and easy odyssey. It's it's just so easy and relaxed. You just play stuff and win. <laughs> Ignore all the messing around. That was just uh, showboating. Yes, yes. Obvious showboating. We all, we all knew it. We all knew it, let's face it. <sighs> but yeah, I do really like playing balance with the Druid right in the middle. Spirit of the Forest right in the middle is a is an OTK for most game modes. On this map at least. Because look how many times they have to go around. Those poor things. I guess some still get through, but for the most part, they get crushed. Um, Thorn Swarm? Before Oban, 
We'll see how we go. If we lose any more lives, I'll consider it. But for now, I want to get over next if I can. Slap him next to this guy so he starts getting buffs. Maybe that was my issue on Covered Gardens. I was putting... I was spreading out my eggs among too many baskets. Should have just put them all in one and winged it. But yeah, like, I mean, I did say that at the very start of the Odyssey, didn't I? That out of all the maps, I'd be probably the least good. That's terrible English. I'd probably be the worst. That's, that's the word. I'd probably be the worst at Covered Gardens because it was new. Or newer. But yeah, like, damn, I'm just much more terrible at that map than I remember. <laughs> anyway, we'll be better at this one. And we will get those handful of lives we did lose there back. Now that there's no stupid, stupid, stupid glass in the way. <sighs> Bloody glass. That's why I think Covered Gardens should be a higher difficulty map. Frickin' glass. Admittedly, yes, if you have the if you have the choice of as many towers as you want and whichever ones you want, and you have the monkey knowledge as well. Yeah, it's very easy just to go heli pilot win. And especially if you're not doing stupid as shit strategies, you know, like brain dead type stuff. But overall, it is actually uh, a map that makes you think a bit harder if you mainly place within the actual covered garden section. Alright, but half cash is chill. Half cash is easy. You just get the cost efficient towers. Wall of Fire, Drill to the Jungle, Oban, Recursive Clusters, Bloon Jitsu, all the classics, really. Alchemist, Buffing, what's that one called? Stronger Stim, yeah. Just get all those cheap, effective ones. Don't bother trying to save up for something like a Spectre immediately, because you're not gonna. Or at least not anytime soon. I mean, look at this, I'm basically on around... 21, and I can almost just barely afford Druid of the Jungle, which is still an amazing upgrade. Uh, we do technically have camera detection, it's just not in a great form. Oh, open with the snipe though. Well played. Uh, so yeah, we're actually good on, on camera detection as it turns out. <laughs> Couldn't be better, in fact. Right, let's put you... Yeah, are you in Oban's range? God, I hope you are. Ooh, you might not, actually. You genuinely might not be. It's hard to say. You wouldn't have gotten a buff even if you were in his range, because that comes later for you guys. But druids get it immediately. Do you get any range buffs anytime soon, Oban? Uh, uh, hmm... Oh, yeah. It's not looking good. It's really not looking good. Okay, okay. That's alright. I can deal with that. Um, are we good for the Moab? Probably, right? How hard could a Moab be with half cash? Actually, no, yeah, we've got, we've got Oban's brambles. We'll be fine. No shot, the Moab beats us there unless I'm dumb and I use the ability on round 39 and it gets completely used up in before round 40 hits. So, if we can just avoid being stupid for like a handful of seconds and time it well, we'll, uh, we'll be good to go. I do think double shot will be heavily valuable here. Okay, we're good, we're good. I may be dumb. But, that's not the point. <laughs> I really couldn't think of what else to say. <laughs> uh, anyway, not going to touch that ability for now. Uh, just, just preparing. Just preparing. Hmm. Can I place a village here? Oh my god, I can. That's actually nice. I was not expecting that, but that will come in very handy later. Not right now. 
God, that's a massive waste of chunk of money if I did that right now. Oh yeah, just spend a thousand two hundred ninety-five money. Right in a half cash run, right before round forty. Yeah, sure it'll be fine. Sure it'll be perfectly fine. And go. Slide down. How are we looking? He ate that brambles pretty well. He won't, he won't be fed all afternoon though. Bang. Solved. Problem solved. Problem solved. Cool, cool, cool. Right. Now that one is done, the rest will fall in line. So now I can do this. Actually, no, if I can put it here, that'd be even better. Good thing I can't. That's always nice. Why did I not go for the camera detection first? Jungle drums just caught my eye. I felt bad for the ninja, you know? Giving him camera detection again. He's already been to that class. Very sad, very sad. Are you in range of that? Oh, I guess we'll find out what. Level 11? Level 11 Oban will uh, tell us if Ninja's in range or not. Because he doesn't get a buff from him until then, right? Very sad. Very sad times indeed. Oh yeah, it's half cash. There's, no, there's probably no way I'm actually getting a uh, thingo, huh? Spirit of the Forest. <laughs> Unless I genuinely try and get a lot of money, but I don't see that happening any, anytime soon either. So that's a little awkward. Hmm. I could just try for this again. Because, I mean, I've lost less than 10 lives, so the second I get to use this ability once, it makes it back. Which makes sense. And having a heli pilot helps out with the stray Moabs every now and then on these earlier rounds. Ooh, that looks overwhelming, but it's not apparently. Cool. Mm, actually, let's get Heart of Thunder. It'll calm my nerves about those balloon heavy waves. abilities now when it comes to slaughtering Moabs. Hmm. Draft. Thingo. I mean, my druid can see camo balloons, so I don't really care for popping power at this moment. So pushing them back's fine. And then popping power can be next? Yeah, probably will need to be. 63 will always endeavour to be a pain in the ass. Hmm. How to deal with 63 on a map that's very favourable towards druids and the fact that they leave shit lying around on the ground. Hmm. Ooh, you're getting quite far. That's unfortunate. Ha. Nice. In fact, you know what? That's a perfect placement for the trees. I couldn't think of a better spot. So, yeah, stick with it. Hmm. Probably want another druid. At the very least, that. And then maybe another. Yeah, see, that's the tricky thing. Is 63 is going to be a pain in the ass. At least we'll have uh, Urban's Wall of Trees to soak up at least two rounds worth, maybe. Uh, it's not guaranteed. Basically, I have to have one down that's already empty and then have the ability ready again for that to work out, but pretty much everything will be touching this thing before round 63 and on round 63, so I might only be able to soak up one layer, but that's okay. We can, we can work with that. But from now onwards, our main goal will be to get those handful of lives back. I don't know, now that I've realised that I can regen lives if I lose them, it's, it's sort of made me go on a bit of a craze where I try my best to keep all of my lives, or at least regen them all back. Let's do it now, why not? Give us a bit of pocket money. 
We'll see how we go for 63. I don't imagine it'll end too well, but we'll find out. I want Bloom Jitsu. That'll just straight up destroy Moabs instead of me having to worry about them. Thank you. Here we are. Oh, and that's already gone. Cool, cool, cool. If they split from the middle, that's terrible. Yeah. Ooh. What are we gonna do? What is the cheapest defense we have for 63? Hmm. Whatever will we do? Maybe another Heart of Thunder will do it, honestly. And then if I can get a third, that's pretty much game over for the Blooms. Because Heart of Thunder's pretty dope. Oh yeah, yeah. That put them in their place. Cool. Three Heart of Thunders. That works for me. Ooh. But it also kinda doesn't. Okay, but we do have a fresh wall. So that should solve our problem. Oh yeah. Whew. Cool. So now we desperately need those lives. <laughs> Once again, classic. <laughs> oh, I love that. Every time I'm just like, yeah, this is, this is easy. Pathetically easy. Just one, two, three, we, we're good, we win. And then out of nowhere it's like, oh fuck, we're losing. <laughs> How did I not see this coming? <sighs> I mean... As I'm aware, I've never claimed to be great at this game. Don't get me wrong, I've gotten through all the Odysseys. Many, many, much harder than this. But it's just hilarious to see me fucking up so badly. <laughs> the worst part is I don't even fuck up for that long on, on like, each individual, uh, like, round. And so I'm just like, well, I don't need to cut that out, technically, because it was over so quickly, you know? I only really try and cut it out if it takes me, like, many, many attempts at the same thing to finally get it. Are we good? Are we good? No. No. Okay. Two BFBs. Seem to be a little trouble. A little bit of trouble. Hmm. Oh, you're not, you're not in range. Oh, that's terrible. That is actually awful. And you're not in range of the village, which would have buffed your range. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Attack speed and magic monkeys cooldowns by 5%. Do we think 5% would be able to save us? You two? Hmm. Hmm. I do not know. We'll try it. Screw it. It's a cheap option. I'm gonna take technically what? Plus ten percent speed boost to attacks? Because it's hitting two monkeys out of a possible four. Oh god, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah that that's 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 left the arsenal now. Cool. Okay, those we can defeat without using brambles or the, the wall. So let's use the wall, throw up the defense, pop one, hopefully eat a couple. Why does that happen? Why is it that when I place a fresh wall, sometimes it eats entire Moabs, other times it's like, mm, nah, I don't care. Moabs can do what they want. So strange, so strange. Is there a possibility of us getting our lives back? What's the last map? Cornfield. On Impoppable. 1 to 80. That seems doable without too many lives, honestly. Cornfield's not the craziest map in the world, but maybe with this setup it might not be amazing either. Hmm. Oh, right. Half cash. Pathetic amount from Obens. Yep. That's cool. That's cool too. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's really no cheap way to get lives back, is there? What's the cheapest way to restore lives in this game? Probably with monkey knowledge, marketplace. No, probably just Ben. <laughs> yeah, Ben would be great, but sadly we've got Oben, not Ben. Not fortunate. I don't think I've got any cheaper life-giving towers on hand. I do, however, think that maybe these druids could play by themselves. And the ninja doesn't need to be a part of the equation. Am I right about that? Or am I potentially just deadly wrong about that? Let's find out. Okay. Ditch you. Buy you. Hopefully we get the ability in time to at least get some of our lives back. If not all. Preferably all. But unlikely. freaks me out every time I see the Moab pop and then balloons get sent flying backwards over here because I keep thinking they're just they're just like nah fuck, fuck this map I hate it I'm leaving now and they just like go straight through my defense and I'm not paying attention Ooh, hold on just a second everyone little puppy that needs attention because he's all lonely. He's whining at my door. Alright, we're good. I am playing one-handed though, so potentially won't be able to hit the escape key in time if I do end up screwing the pooch. That's a terrible thing to say right now. Uh, messing things up. There we go. That's a much better way of phrasing it. Hey, bud. He's been a little lonely. Cool. 44. I like 44 lives. Much better than the other number we had. Are we good on defense? I kind of feel bad for deleting the ninja. Can I get him back with an open buff? I can. Damn. My placement was just terrible. That sucks. Uh, are we okay? I feel like we're not okay. Luckily now, even though he's a big roadblock, uh, we can just follow where the helicopter's going <laughs> to find out where the balloons that are in first are. It's the benefits of pursuit. So they're all currently right in the middle. Very good, very good. We'll at least have 54 lives going into the last map, I reckon. At least. And I kind of want to avoid using my wall of trees if I can help it just so that we've got less insta kills on the field and potentially another ability coming in we'll see we'll see but yeah if I don't use it the balloons take longer to die take longer to leave the screen ability cools down faster no has more time to cool down oh sorry puppy you a sad boy He's, uh, he's worn his voice out a little bit, so his, his whines are a bit more, a bit more grumpy sounding and a little pathetic. <laughs> Alright, we're using the trick. We got our ability use in, I'm happy with that. Okay. Oh god, that's, that's going out. Alright. Do you want to go down? Do you not like sitting on my lap? Anyway. So did we manage to get another ability out of that, or? I don't think we did, did we? Hmm. We do have a decent amount of money, though. Let's alk buff something? What would we buff, really? Ooh, didn't realize that was a spot. 
Does that hit you? Maybe? Okay, okay, okay. You wanna go down. I'll let you go. Come on, man. He's always preferred my sister over me. That's fair enough, though. I don't hang out with him or feed him nearly as much as, as she does. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's not like I've been meaning to and then forgot. Nah, she just, she's just usually in charge of the feedings and such. Okay, so if I do this, then do that, then do this, then do that, then do this, and do that, Potentially live. Because let's face it, it was the balloons that were getting through, not the uh, not the Moabs. Potentially live. Potentially get an ability use. Come on. Beautiful. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Sixty-four lives going into cornfield. I'll take. Absolutely, I'll take it. I love it. I think one of my favorite odysseys that we've ever had was the one that sent like a rainbow or a, or a zebra round two <laughs> or round one and it was just like yeah the, this the entire point of this odyssey is just regain the lives that you lost very early on because you actually couldn't defend yourself. Uh, anyway yeah so this corn can't be removed which means we're going to be doing some open druid ninja alchemist village strategies because if we place a single helicopter we won't be able to place probably anything else so start off with open luckily it's not half cash so we're going to be rolling in money anyway uh, start with open we'll probably get a ninja next just for the camo detection although we are on impoppable so things are priced ridiculously but luckily Oban can see this whole square and that's that's pretty much where we'll be placing everything we own so that's always nice ninja will go here that'll do perfect these guys can almost take down round four by themselves, but hey, lives don't matter now. Well, they kind of do, but not fully. Only 61 of them matter. No, only 60... No, no. My brain hurts. 61 of them don't matter. It's that last one that we need to hold on to. Right. Not gonna lie, that ninja was literally just there as a... as a front. Now the balloons won't know what hit him when I go with the whole druid combo. Haha. <laughs> right. Money making side of things, probably best to just do druids. Because let's face it, if we try and do alk bottom path, we're not going to place it anywhere near close enough to the start of the map. And let's face it, the second I get a tier 3 middle path druid, which I will, it'll ruin pretty much everything. So, let's just stick with what we know. Middle path druid's good. Bottom path druid, also good. Probably use it. And then we win. Simple as that. Sound good? Sounds good. 70 more rounds of cornfield. Luckily, cornfield's one of my favorite maps, so... I think we will be safe. Definitely safer than we were on balance with half cash or on the previous map with, uh... Well, just the previous map, really. <laughs> What was it called? Covered Gardens? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I have more confidence in Cornfield than I do on the pathetic easier maps. But hey, to be fair, Half Cash is a difficult game mode, and Covered Gardens I'm just stupid with. Still haven't figured out a uh, solid strategy. I should try and blackboarder that. That would force me to come up with a few more strategies for that map. Yes, yes. Hmm. Anyway. Food for thought later. Bang. No more problems for like 
till round 24. And even then, round 24 is not going to be a pain either. We have the brambles and we have the technology. Hmm. Now the only question is... Moab popping power. Probably going to be my ninja? Getting a balloon jitsu? Do I drop an early monkey village? Hmm. Food for thought. What do we want? If I get a village now, I'm going to be placing it bottom right. As far bottom right as I can. So, like, there. No. There. That is literally as far bottom right as I can get it, I'm pretty sure. Oban's almost out of the range, but that's that's how far bottom right it is. So I'll get this. Simply so that I am prepared for giving camo detection when it's needed. But also to buff everybody's range. And then on top of that, potentially reduce the price of some upgrades. Potentially. Would that really help me though? It's only tier 3 or less. Nah, screw it. We'll just get jungle drums instead. Okay, so this is going to be our Moab Popper right here. Loon Jitsu plus our friendly neighborhood alchemist. Oh, are you serious? I can't fit there. That sucks. Okay. You go here then. We really want to clear out a lot of space for druids. Okay, we good? We look good. So far, continue. We're good. Bang. Hmm. It would be nice to get Jungle's Bounty, but that's pricey. We'll go for it after the first Moab, I reckon. We'll be more available to do more things with our money than... Uh, at that point in time. Hmm. I should go for a walk. It is... It's pretty hot, but it's the afternoon, so it's actually going to be quite breezy, and the sun won't be that devastating. Which is quite nice. Okay. Wow! I'm pretty... Oh, no. I, I would have started doing this, like, around five-ish. I thought for some reason it had taken me like two hours to get to where I am right now. But no, no. I'm just, uh, I'm just dumb and can't perceive time well. Alright. If we can get stronger stim, I can guarantee this Moab is gone. Just factually not even a part of the question anymore. Come on. Oh, are you kidding? Okay, that's fine. That's fine, because we have backup plan. Nice. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You... I eventually want you to get that. And by eventually, I mean you've got it. Nice. Uh, and then probably Jungle's Bounty. To get in some extra cash now. Rather than litter. Okay, and then the Camo Blooms. Ninja's got this. He's preparing all of his 41 year round year life for it. Wow, I can't speak. It's fine, it's fine. Come on, brain. Function enough to get the English out at least for another 35 rounds. Okay, okay. Boom. Jungle's bounty. Nice. I want to get Heart of Thunder, but at the same time, I want to get Jungle Drums. Jungle Drums is nice. Also, getting camera detection for my druid would be nice. Also, just buffing everything. Pretty fucking great. Not gonna lie. Okay. That's good. Money. Nice. Nice. Every little counts. Every little counts. You might be thinking, druids are fucking shit at giving you money. Unless you've got them surrounded by banks and marketplaces and banana research facilities. But... You know what I wouldn't have? 240 extra bucks. 480 extra bucks. So, worth it. 
totally worth it. In my books. In fact, it might be so worth it that I might just get another druid. I mean, of course I'm going to get another druid, but... I'm pretty sure also if you can aim it right, you can fill up almost the entire center of the map with, uh, with the good thorns. That is a good spot. Um, the question I'm asking here is, is there a point to getting more middle path druids? Or do I just get bottom path ones now to buff the main one that I will be getting to a spirit of a forest? You know? Is there a, is there a point to uh, getting more middle path ones or should I just say fuck it and buff this guy? I really don't know. I mean, we're going to have to defeat round 60 soon, which is going to be a bit of a pain to try and deal with already. Spirit of the Forest will not be ready in time. Maybe if I sold everything else, I'd be able to get it immediately. But then that would ruin the fun because the game would be over. Hmm. Am I ready for the game to be over? We'll see. We'll see. Because we've already got 20 grand. So another, what, 22 will get us the Spirit of the Forest, right? You're worth 300. You're worth five grand. Four grand, let's be let's be real. You're worth four grand. You're worth five grand, so that's 9,000. That's what, 13,000? 13,300? 13, yeah, we are... We're definitely going to be getting this Spirit. Perhaps even by force. So if we've got roughly 13 grand in assets... Not including Oban, because I don't want to sell my boy. He's giving us the garden tour after all. Um, I can't even do the math. 2,000 more? Yeah, roughly 2,000 more. And uh, we will have what I want. Okay, this could be scary, so I kind of want to do this. Okay. Didn't need it, but it was it was a good precaution. Very good precaution. Okay, so there's our 30,000 mark. Damn. Ninja Alk is working just as well as I remember it. Uh, sadly, it's going to have to die soon. One of these days, it's going to be dead. And by one of these days, I mean very, very soon. Like... Probably end of this round. Type of soon. Yeah, because look what happens now. This isn't very... Oh, wow, what the fuck? Really? Yeah, that's strong, huh? I was kind of expecting to need to sell stuff. Because this was going to be an insane wave, but... Huh, that works too, I guess. Can I just get Spirit of the Forest passively? Do I need to sell anything? I never even thought about that. Do I do I genuinely need to sell anything? Wow. Huh. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> if you couldn't already tell. Like, damn. That's cool, I guess. I mean, I, I was ready to sell pretty much my entire family, all of my assets, my entire job, my income. 61 of my lives and 33 of my remaining years as a human being, but cool. If I don't have to, that's pretty nice too. Yeah, wow. Turns out shit's just really strong. <laughs> Damn. Go ninja. Let's face it, the others aren't doing much. And... Show me the money. There it is. <sighs> now we can get our lives back. And by lives, I mean, like, what, one? Did we even lose lives? If we did, was it really that bad? You know? Oh, man, look at him go. We lost two lives. There you go. 
damage repaired. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was emotional damage, really. It was, it was emotional damage, let's be honest. Ah, but it feels good to know that victory is secured, you know? Like, uh, doing this shit on chimps, where there's just 20 more rounds, this is actually a garbage strategy. Oh, maybe not if you do manage to get Avatar of Wrath as well, but you won't even be able to save up money, because that's not a thing. So, uh... Yeah, it's kind of kind of a terrible strategy on shrimps because you can't save up extra money. The Spirit of the Forest drops off real quick past round 80. <laughs> I hate to say it, but my boy ain't, ain't as strong as I'd like him to be. Still though, we can buff him a little with this. And it looks like we've run out of room. Alright, that's fine. Had to happen at some point, but we've won anyway, so we don't care. It was nice going on a bit of garden tour. Does this mean... Oban's gardening tour? Does that technically mean Oban owns this cornfield? And are they making odysseys about all the heroes? Because I'm pretty sure we've definitely had one about Quincy. And is him, him looking for a new apartment or a new house or some shit? And he ended up going to the haunted mansion for whatever reason? Uh... Presumably, he bought that one because that was the last one we visited. But, Oban's gardening tour, does that technically mean Oban owns all of the maps we've played on? Balance would make sense, he's all about nature. Cornfield? I mean, yeah, who else, who else would own it? Maybe the banana farmer monkey? Maybe Oban hires them? Who knows? The lore is just... All-encompassing, really. Um, I can't remember the other maps we've played on. But yeah, I think we've had an Oban Odyssey now. We've had a Quincy Odyssey. We've had an Odyssey that was... For Gwendolyn? I think? Maybe? I don't know. But either way, I'm... Oh, wait, we've had a Striker Jones one, haven't we? Oh no, now I'm just remembering my odysseys where I've used those heroes, not necessarily that they were the only ones available. Hmm. I mean, I could just check through my, my videos. I have got into quite a bit of detail on all of the odysseys in my previous bits. Wow. Fortified BFBs just getting stripped immediately. Poor things. Boom. There's the old watermelon. When will he first get a crack? There it is. Oh, holy shit. Ninja was like, I ain't having any of that. The second I get an opening, he's gone. <laughs> Damn. And crushed. Beautiful. If Oban owns covered gardens, I'm going to be sick in my mouth. Um, tree stump and monkey meadow though I don't think you can really own those like this is this is private property most likely uh, this one's kind of enclosed so it makes me feel like it's private property this is definitely private property these just they're just parks they're, they're just parks so I don't think Oban can own them I guess if he is you know the, the spirit of the forest and all that or the uh, overseer of the entirety of the forest, or whatever, then I guess he would be partaking there. Hmm. Unless he's just really into gardening and he's, he's visiting these. Anyway, let's... Sorry, I got really invested into that into that lore deep dive. Uh, that's been Oban's gardening tour. My favourite boy finally got an odyssey of his own to shine absolutely beautifully and uh, covered gardens and, and and balance were actually a bit annoying but that's because I was being stupid so yeah that's, that's kind of my fault anyway <laughs> thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed I'll see you all in the next one
take care of yourselves and have a great rest of your week, everybody.